according to my calculations, it was not, in fact, going to be fun. Oh, the Lakers were forced to play their cards, and I think all things considered, they played them pretty well. They traded away Bynum and picks for Dwight Howard and Steve Nash in kind of a parody of 2004 when they got Peyton and Malone. Howard was much, much better than either of those, but his back surge in the offseason severely limited his production. And bro, oh my god, I was so hyped for this season. Let me show you this screenshot, and this is real, from my 2012 jailbroken iPad to show that I really thought that this was gonna be different. Um, Nash was not much better, despite having averaged over 10 assists the year prior, had almost no contribution that entire season, or really his entire time in LA. Gasol likewise missed a ton of games and was forced into this awkward role, which saw some of his worst production of his career. In the preseason, I remember there's this interview with Meta World Peace. He said the Lakers would probably break the 72 game record, uh, which it, they, um, according to my research, did not. They did not do that. They were quite off, like 25 games off. Uh, Mike Brown, who had took over after Phil Jackson retired, was fired after just five games when they went one and four. And Jackson famously was willing to come back, and if not for that stupid Chris Paul trade, that would be the most infuriating move in Laker history, let me tell you. Jerry Buss, longtime Laker owner and awesome cool dude, died midway through the season shortly before Jackson was willing to return, and his dumbass kids were not trusting with Jackson because he was only dating their sister, so they went with Mike D'Antoni. Now, Mike D'Antoni is a good coach. Some might even say he's a great coach. He excels with young, fast teams who can shoot. After all, he had beaten Kobe multiple times in the playoffs prior. Let's go through the 2013 Lakers team, shall we? Steve Nash, while he played with D'Antoni before, he was hurt and unavailable and too slow. Kobe, slow, needs to have isolation touches. Matter World Peace, can't shoot. Gasol, slow, can't shoot. Boom, roasted. Howard, hurt, could run and catch lobs, but didn't because he thought he could be Hakeem Olajuwon for some reason. All of this went about as well as you thought it would be. Nash moved to a spot up shooting position so Kobe could be the de facto point guard. Nash also couldn't defend very well so Kobe basically had to guard the opposing team's best guard while being the team's point guard, which oh, we'll get to that. The Lakers were in danger of missing the playoffs so Kobe basically overruled everywhere and went insane, going multiple weeks playing 48 minutes in most games. He dragged this corpse of a team to the seventh seed against the Warriors. Kobe tore his Achilles off a drive and in one last testament to his grit and need to win, he hit the two clutch free throws, walked off, and would never be the same again. Kobe had been playing in seven consecutive quarters before he got injured. He was fifth in MVP voting and at 34 years old, he was second in the entire league in minutes. For most of the first half of the season, he was also leading the league in scoring. 2013 was by all means, Kobe giving it all he could, and it was so sad to watch the management absolutely screw up any chance of his sixth ring. 